everyone, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Peacemaker 4, and welcome to day 4 of Nostalgia Week. Here we are in the Genesis era, where I get to play at least two Genesis games that I remember the most. And to kick off the Genesis era, I'm going to go ahead and play Toy Story for the Genesis. Now, it is worth noting that I actually played the game on the computer, but not the Genesis, so yeah, I'm kind of cheating on this one. So for the first time ever, I'm finally going to play the Genesis version. Now, let me remind you, one last time, I played the game on the computer, but not the Genesis. That's it. So, with that being said, put on your... So, with that being said, put on your nostalgia goggles, and let's get remembering. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, I apologize for some of the logos and even the cutscenes for looking kinda hideous. Maybe it's because they're missing their pixels, or it's because of that emulation that I'm using. So, yeah, I apologize for that. Wow. You know, there are some good things about this game. Good voiceovers, decent sound effects, good music. And even the highlight of the game, or, well, the graphics. I mean, they looked pretty good in back in the day. Well, yet again, the critics didn't agree with the actual gameplay, which they um, unfortunately criticized. But that doesn't matter. Also, according to Austin Eruption, the SNES version is even worse. And if you want, to, but if you want to know more about it, then I highly recommend you check out his channel on the bad. Then I highly recommend you check out his channel for the um, bad Pixar games uh, video. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay, play the time of the tank engine thing. And you didn't, and you weren't, ex and you weren't expecting a Nicolas Cage reference. Oh, in case you're wondering where the infamous "No the Bees" scene came from, it came from that 2006 remake of The Wicker Man. And well, we all know how it all turned out. And yes, you're still hearing the Thomas the Tank Engine theme. Well, here we are with yet another NOTHER BEES joke. Oh, you're supposed to swing there. Uh, wait, what do I... Oh, right. Oh, yeah, did I mention that this game is also part collectathon? Because you gotta collect every... Because it's really fun to collect those um, stars. Because, well, it's really fun to collect those stars. Oh, whoa, whoa! I got no time to waste. Got 
Gotcha. I know you know Thomas the Tank Engine, but you are not the real train. Oh, right. Okay, so I just finished the first level. That's nice. Well, I know it's a shame that I didn't get past this level back when I was uh, playing on this computer. Uh, well, it's a shame I did. Well, now, this is the level I didn't get. Now, this is the level that I didn't get past back when I was playing it on the computer. Now, this is the level that, unfortunately, I wouldn't... Now, this is the level that I didn't get past back when I was... Well, oh yeah, back when I was playing on the computer, I didn't get past this level. But will I ever get past this level for all time's sake? We shall wait. Let's see. No, really. It is fun to collect those stars that are, well, scattered all over the place. Hmm. In fact, I think it would be possible to collect them all for a very special bonus. Besides, you don't have to collect them all to get a special bonus. You just uh, collect a few, and you just um, collect a few, and that's it. You just collect a few, leave the rest, and that's it. Wow, about time I got past that level. Alright, what's next? Hmm, Buzz Lightyear. Alright, it's a race against the clock. Or rather, a race against uh, time and space. Or, oh, okay, you obviously get the point. Now, now, obviously, I didn't play this level back on the computer because... Well, I couldn't get past the second level. Even though I just did. Right now. Also... Hmm. You know, this is some of the best animation for such a 16-bit system ever. Well, in fact, the graphics are so good that the characters are well animated. You know, like, um, let's say, Donkey Kong Country. The CGI models and animations are very well done. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. You know, using those hooks is very convenient. Oh. All right, one last try. Okay, one last try. Hmm. 
Now that's jumping the shark, am I right? Well, it is, uh, well, it, there, it's actually a term loosely describing the worst moments in TV. Or just, um, TV shows not doing so well. Oh! I guess that's it then. Game over. I guess I'm done here. So that was Toy Story for the Genesis. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. I forgot to give uh, Jurassic Park a 5 out of 10 because I only remember it for those first person segments. And as, to and as for Toy Story for the Genesis, I give it a 6 out of 10 because I couldn't get past the uh, second level back when I was playing the game on the computer. And we're not done with the Genesis era just yet. We have one more Genesis game to go. And hopefully the Genesis era will be over. So, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, this is Pacemaker 4, signing out. And wishing everyone Happy Valentine's Day.